right, y'all, are y'all ready to go on this journey? So obviously by the thumbnail, you already know what the deal is. It is Monday afternoon and we are gathering up all of our stuff. So I just packed the truck full of a bunch of towels, tools, uh, impact guns, boards, hydraulic fluid, wrenches, just everything possibly need. We're hoping, we're gonna get the trailer now, I'm gonna get a propane bottle right now. But we're hoping that we get there, we get to IEA tomorrow, and we put a propane bottle on this thing, put a jump box on it probably, turn the key, and this thing cranks right up. And we're hoping that the hydraulics work, that the fork will tilt back and everything, and that we can drive this thing right on our trailer and head on back to Wilmington. Uh, let's grab this trailer, hopefully it goes smooth, propane bottle, and uh, get back to the shop. And I think Ed decided that he wants to leave at like 2.30 in the morning. Not exactly when I wanted to leave, to be honest. Um, but I get it, you don't wanna get stuck in traffic both ways. All right, so we are leaving out of here. We got our little trailer, United Rentals. So this little one that they rented me, was only I think 80 something a day. She rang me out for one day and said, of course, he'll go over, but then he'll just bill me. It was like 103 or 102. Uh, everybody else wanted $180 to get this done for a trailer that would get this done, whereas they only wanted 80 bucks um, a day. So that was a really good deal. I'll tell you what would be nice would be if we were taking the Platinum that we bought in a previous video. If you haven't checked that out, and you're here because we bought a forklift from IEA, then you might want to go check out the F450 Platinum that I just bought from IEA also for a really good deal. Uh, IEA is what I do for a living, all salvage, and I pretty much try to buy everything from IEA. Uh, as you can tell, that's why you're here. You have to do it start over. Okay, what what are we playing on? What is this? I uh, bought. Yeah, but what is this thing right here? This whole thing. Um, that is um, where you can play. Uh, what is this thing called? Is this the trailer that we're taking to Georgia? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we picked up the trailer. This thing's pretty cool, man. Uh, I think it's gonna make mine and Eddie's job really easy. It's got the lever where the whole deck just lowers down and then the whole thing picks up. Solar panel charges it while it's sitting here. But for right now, this afternoon, it's Harper's pirate ship and we're about to build some blocks on it. I had to fab this piece up real fast for our winch. I grabbed a winch. Okay, hold on. I uh, had to fab this up, it's piping hot. But uh, this is a winch plate. Hold on Harper. So I had to pick up the double hitch from Harbor F uh, Freight earlier. Hold on, hold on one second. And um, just in case we get up there and we need to put a winch in it. So I grabbed one of these. That way you could put this in and still have the trailer hooked up and then slip that plate in this top one so it will stick up like that and then we could bolt the winch to the top because we're taking a okay all right so we're taking a winch with us um go ahead just in case we need to winch it don't touch that oh that's not too hot right now it's still cooling but um yeah you flip it over like that and then on that side we will be able to bolt a winch to it right here and winch this thing on dead weight if we have to once we get into Georgia. I figure for the meantime, enjoy a little bit of sun this afternoon. That piece actually fabbed up pretty easy and now I have it borrowing a winch from a buddy of mine. Shout out to Chris if you're watching this greatly. Appreciate you all the time, dude. Um, but yeah, it's better to be prepared than not prepared. And we got the truck loaded down. We got everything we possibly need. Hydraulic full fluid, chains, batteries propane tons of boards jack more straps up there our winch spare winch chain binders i think it's a hydraulic fluid yeah we should be freaking still sad. praying that we get up here and this thing just cranks right up drives on the trailer i'll see y'all here in a minute for me it's gonna be a couple hours well it is a uh, two what time is it right now 218 218 and head into the shop to get Eddie, and then we're gonna get on the road and slide on out of here. All right, 6.20 in the morning, and we're definitely getting near Atlanta, and uh, and you can see uh, rain on the windshield, check the weather, and sure enough, there is, uh, let's see, what was it, like eight o'clock, we're supposed to be there around 8.20 or 8.18, I think it is now. There's a 100% chance of rain at 8 o'clock, and then it jumps down at 9 o'clock to like 70 something. So, uh, we might literally be getting portal here, low 
trying to get this thing loaded. Or you brought in bikini. <laughs> I told him, hey, bring no bikini. I told Eddie, I said, uh, you better bring some uh, change of clothes. Too. What do y'all think? I think anybody get wet. <laughs> I think we might get wet, my guy. It says like we're 40 minutes away or 30, 30 or 40 minutes away, something like that. We're getting closer. Got trash, don't we? That's a freaking dumpster dune buggy. Oh, man. All right, so we went and got checked in. One thing that is required is you got to either wear the handy dandy safety vest or something like this when you're loading at these. So we are waiting for an escort um, because this is a lot like normal. So normally- You would pull like over here, like these trucks are, and you would get loaded up with a four lift. But being this is specialty, they're sending us in the back and we have to load it on our own. Uh, fortunately, the rain has slowed down, but it hasn't let up 100%. Uh, so we're literally just waiting for our escort and they uh, won't help you at all. So you're kind of on your own whenever um, you're doing, uh, when you're doing the specialty stuff. You got to make sure you got enough to load it because they ain't going to help your butt. I see some guy walk away down there. That's not a guy, is it? Might be. Uh, yeah. Watch this, y'all. But you can't really see with the rain. Some people on my previous videos, they were wigged out, dude. That, oh, I wasn't trying to do that, Ed. They were wigged out that cars get loaded with port lifts. How about we seen one live fall off the trailer? He gave you the hand wave, yeah, this, this the I international symbol, yeah. symbol for uh, come on with me, Bo. He's going to tell us, oh, this trailer ain't big enough. Mm. Why would you buy that one? We ain't buy no. Let's start off here. That's the uh, enclosed one. They'll have, uh, oh, yeah, did you see the AMG and G-Wagon? Yeah, that's where all the Lamborghinis and Maseratis and G-Wagons and muscle cars and, and BMWs yeah, and Audi. high-end stuff. Some branches, there's a couple branches that have them. And then um, insurance companies will actually send very high-end cars to certain branches that have climate control storage for the high-end stuff. Like if it's a flood, McLaren or something like what that. Is that? Is there overflow through their check-in line? Maybe. It's a little bumpy, so if the camera is shaky, guys, bear with me. Oh, look at that guy. That, uh, that daddy got bit. I don't even think you can really see I like it. Nothing, though. She got bent back, son. Man, what's a little snatch truck? <laughs> I think one's cool. I don't care. You see the 17th? Uh-uh. Windows down in that one. Man, so I get that car, now we gotta deal with drying out all the mold and water. It wasn't a flood car, but now it's gonna be a flood car from sitting in here in the windows now. We used to do this all the time. Me and Ed used to be in the trenches every week, man. Uh, out on the yards back before COVID. Uh, we'd actually go to the branches, look at the cars. Yeah, yeah we'd actually bid on them on the yard, like standing in front of the car and bid on them. Now a whole lot has changed. Uh, since COVID, they changed policies and never went back because it works better. Now we pretty much buy everything 100% sight unseen and we don't go look at anything pretty much at all. I love this, man. I love what I do for a living. Love all these red cars. That thing is smack that van right there. Man. Oh yeah, specialty back here. All the campers are at. Awesome. There's our fort lifts. Just let's just find out what's going on first. Cause I don't even know which way it's turned. Yeah. 
So you got all trailers and everything. I'm gonna put the camera down so we can talk to this guy because technically you're not supposed to be filming no photography or video or anything on the IA property. Good news, it looks like, it looks like me and Ed just hit the jackpot and he's literally, oh, look at that little dune buggy. I don't wanna flip the camera. Um, it looks like he is calling for the forklift. I got that. I don't know, honestly, Ed. I guess you got it now. Um, he is calling for the forklift. Should I go ahead and pull up? Yeah, I'll just pull right here off to the side. So you're out of the way of the forklift. You had a forklift here. So well, he he's literally gonna back up like that, and he would be just go like that. That's what I'm saying. I should go. Pull I would up. just stay right here out of his way. Right. Let him do his thing. So they're gonna fork it on, and they're not supposed to. Um, but that's the thing is that sometimes the rules up front sometimes don't make it to the yard, and the yard guys still kind of do their own thing. Um, so I think we're gonna get freaking lucky here. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, see that's what I would do is I'd get it through the roof exactly like it looks like he's doing. If that's what he's doing, I'd get it through the cage. Cause I'm pretty sure them cages are built strong enough where if it rolls over. Maybe he's hooking straps to it. Boy, there's a nice uh it's like 450 or something over there. Look at that sitting right there. literally squatted that whole fort lift. I had to answer a phone call. But it literally squatted the whole thing down. Now I'm gonna have to put the camera down. I'm not gonna be able to really film. So I pull up here out of this water fort? Yes. If, unless he wants us not to. They might not want to go far with it. I don't know. Maybe right there and we'll just deal with it. He just wants to stop. the trailer. If we would have had the wet load that just standing out there watching them load it, like, Dude, we would have been freaking soaked. So we just got one chain chunked around it real fast so we can just get off of the yard. We don't want to be out here on the yard uh, wasting their time and then they're keeping an eye on us because we're out here and everything. So we're going to get checked out up here at the gate and then we're going to pull over out of the way and take our time to make sure this thing is binded down good. All right, so we got it all strapped down. Uh, our chain's actually stuck. So we wrapped this chain around here to just get it up here to the front and now our chain is actually stuck. So we just had to make do with it. We put our straps on. I trust our straps a lot. Uh, the chain though, it is it is not coming off. This thing is on the forks, so it can't go backwards. And then it's got the two straps. And then the same thing on the rear. We put a chain on it to make everybody happy, uh, but the chain's loose. I can't really get that to tighten down the next link. The next link is too tight. That was a little too loose. And then I've got X my straps. I think it would be perfectly fine to get this thing back to North Carolina. Uh, but we'll check it when we stop. We're gonna get out of the it's time to get us some diesel fuel. What do y'all think? I'm sure y'all have already let me know in the comments about the straps. We're trying to get out of the country. Uh, these hills are killing us. The chains are still on. Eddie said it looked like one of the straps was loose. Uh, that one's tight. It looks like everything's still freaking tight as it can be. All them chains are good. Everything's tight. That one needs to be snugged up. That's probably the one Eddie's talking about. Probably pulled. Yeah, it looks like it sandwiched itself down in there. But man, dude, I hope we get back and I hope this thing checks out and runs. We're going to see here in a few minutes for y'all and hours, about four or five hours for us. All right, so we just got this thing back. What time is it? Like 3.30? So it's pretty late. So I'm trying to figure out how Ed says he semi knows what he's doing. He's an amateur. So we put our bottle on it. Oh, maybe the bottle has to wing out of the way for the chair to go up? No, that just holds up. Probably need a jump box. Yeah, so we got a battery. You want to grab the jump box? Yeah, we got a jumper. We'll see what we got, boys. Oh, man. Me and Ed's got this thing loaded down. I didn't need none of it. There you go. It honestly looks good that's what i said i'd rather i mean even if it's got issues i'd rather put money what is going on under here oh it's a zip tie i'd rather put money into a 2015 model than an 80s model if possible
Look at that. Wow. I like literally never get that lucky normally. Say, does it drive and work is the next question. You want to move that jump box? Yeah. I'm trying to make sure everything works like the close to the break. Wow. Hey, I, I'm blown away. Like, we never get this lucky. We literally never, ever, ever get this lucky. That's not high to go. Which, that's plenty high for what we need. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm like blown away right now. It actually sits really high up. Dude, I mean, we're golden. So another thing I was worried about is that my landscape back here, like it wouldn't drive on my landscape. Now we do have a pretty gnarly bump over here that Ed's gonna go literally straight for and try to get it stuck on. But it goes right over it, wow. Dude, I mean, I just, I never luck up in life like this. It is, it is crazy. It's almost scary with the uh, um, platinum and all the other stuff that's been going right for us. It's almost scary. It's like something's gonna go wrong and mess up. I feel like. Do we got room to throw it inside? <laughs> it's literally spinning the tire. It's literally spinning the tire. Don't. <laughs> All right. Ed just likes to freaking abuse everything, y'all. Dude, I'm blown away, man. Man, I never get that lucky turn signals yeah. I don't see them oh headlights work too yeah wow yeah dude we I never get this lucky never I guarantee you what happened with this was that a company was just they bought brand new ones these are 2015 they probably bought brand new 2025s or 2024s and they just took their whole inventory and just said screw it instead of dealing with the public we'll just send it to the auction whatever it brings at auction uh, we'll take and we'll sell it for uh, you can't beat this on marketplace all of the freaking um, things all of the forklifts like 70s models 80s models that needed work so they were all like in the twos to three thousand dollars for one that actually drove you know but still needed work with leaks or whatever and we got a 15 model for fourteen hundred dollars on the bid i was 17 and some change out the door and then i paid ed his hourly wages uh round trip the whole way uh through his sleeping and eating and everything uh paid to go get it for the help i mean did the lines are in good shape hold on what it's got um 21,784 hours i wonder if that's a high for fort lift i don't know y'all let me know in the comments right now is 21,000 let's make sure this is right 21,784 is that high for a fort lift like a 15 I did see the reverse light a second ago, and come on, yeah. 
is that high so yeah i think this thing was maintained obviously and used but yeah i um dude that's a freaking all win right, so i think that's a win just goes to show you if you can get some really good deals and get all kinds of stuff from iea that you never would expect to freaking get y'all smash that like button for me if you like this one let me know in the comments what you think if you learned anything or whatever let me know in the comments and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video thanks y'all